Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM Enemy Within. So, we should have one last mission coming in May, the abductions. And we launch the satellites after the abductions, not before. And that should be it, there shouldn't be anything else coming in May. It's been a busy month though, yeah, there they are. So, what are the rewards? 200 in Paris. Assault Captain in China. Man, I would really like that assault captain, actually. But I can't afford to take a mission in China. I just can't afford to take a mission in Asia. Because that would be a massive waste. With that said, I can still use the money. So we'll be doing France. Alright, France it is then. Oh, and by the way, that mutant we captured in the last episode, mutants only start carrying the plasma rifle in June. Before that, the random mutants, not from the council mission, will carry light plasma. It's just that one single mutant in friends in low places that carries a regular plasma rifle. Anyway, I might still try to capture something here, because that's more plasma weapons. Let's grab a decent squad here. Okay, we will take our pit. What's Kibwe's aim? 89. And that's pretty good. But I would have to make a weapon or give him a ballistic rifle. I should probably make that plasma rifle because it might take a while before we get a chance to actually capture a plasma rifle. This is 250 credits though. It would be best to just do this mission without that. Sure, there are things I can sell, but I will still need a lot of money next month. Yeah, let's just wait until we actually do this mission. I will grab a decent squad here. So we'll take Elsa. Let's just take both Elsa and Heinrich. I think that's fine. Oh, also, hold on, hold on. I forgot about the mech. Right, so I was going to chop up one of the heavies. We'll chop up Sarah here. That will take a few days. Uh, hopefully that will be done for the 1st of June. Yeah, it will be. Okay. Anyway, back to abductions. Let's see then. Let's try again. So I could also bring Lori. We could get like Elsa and Lori. Just to not have too many kernels. I still want experience. Then Arpit. And then... Yeah, okay, hold on. I guess I could do this. I still need two more people. I could just bring Kibwe with a ballistic weapon. It's not ideal, but I could. Or just get Heinrich. But then one sniper will have to use a ballistic weapon. Yeah, no matter what I do, there will be ballistic weapons. Yeah. Let's just get Mache. And the Kibwe, I guess. I could bring a rookie. This should still be fairly easy. What's their aim? Okay, 60 is bad. I think we have one more person with 65. 55 is bad. 60. Okay, 65. Fine. Okay, let's grab the rookie. As for the gear, let's take a look. Right, we do have alien grenades. We can grab those. And for Lori, regular grenade. Right, uh, let's make items available real quick. She can grab the laser sniper rifle. The other one is already equipped. And the alien grenades. Okay, and I guess that's basically it. Yeah, I think that's basically it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We probably do want the arc thrower. Okay, so our pit can take the arc thrower. And that gives us one extra scope. That gives us two extra scopes. So one scope for the sniper, that seems like a no-brainer. And the one for Mache, probably. Or for Agathe. To give her better aim. 
Yeah, okay, sure. That should make it a bit easier to get kills. And that's it. Alright, I could get one more emergency medkit. You know, just in case. Yeah, let's get emergency medkit. And now we can go. So let's go then. Hopefully this won't be too hard. We will start seeing some new aliens in June. And the mutants will start using actual proper plasma rifles. Okay. Let's see then. We have some potential high ground here. That would be nice. I could just dash here. Wait, hold on. We can maybe go there with our pit. No, I would have to dash as well. Let's move towards the building and see if it's clear. Okay, it looks clear. Now, the roof might not be clear. There might also be something inside this building. I could also just set up with Overwatch. Okay, let's actually just set up with Overwatch. As much as I would like that high ground, we don't know where the enemies are. Let's just set up with Overwatch. I will even Overwatch with the snipers here, in case something shows up. Yep. Okay, let's actually just try that. Let's go. Okay, I can hear floaters. Alright. So, nothing at the moment. Let's move in this direction, towards the roof. Is there a cover-up here? Yeah, there is. Okay. And then we can move one of the snipers closer. On my way. Okay. Maybe both. Okay, let's move with Elsa. And we can overwatch with the laser pistol. Here you go. I'm not going to rush the meld. I could always use more meld, but I'm not gonna rush it. Just playing it safe. Okay, and the overwatch. Alright, overwatch. Let's go. Overwatch with the pistol still. Let's go. Okay, I can hear mutons. Uh, there's a meld in this direction. Yeah, that's a bit far away, I think. I want to use the high ground, alright? We're going to use the high ground. That's just more important. I could go all the way up here. That's probably a good idea, too. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, let's get up here first. That's just going to be the best spot for us. By far. We can still overwatch with the pistols. Let's just get everyone on the high ground. I literally see no reason not to do that. Yep. Let's go everyone. And overwatch. In case someone or something shows up. There you go. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I can definitely hear mutons. And there's something in this direction. So they might be like below us inside the building. And here's another melt container. We can probably get one melt container at least. This is where I could throw the battle scanner actually. Let's do that. We have one, right? Uh, Heinrich is here. No, wait, no. Heinrich is not here. My bad. So we do not have one. Fair enough. I guess that means no battle scanner. On the move. Okay, then that's fine. I'm on the move. Left. I could still set up like one sniper all the way up top. But going here might not be entirely safe. Going left might not be entirely safe either. Like, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I think I'd rather play this safe. Okay, Okay, let's play this safe-ish. I'm a little bit too paranoid that I'll trigger something right now. We can dash across though, that's safe. Okay, let's dash a little bit more. This should also be safe. There, okay. And Overwatch. It would be best if something did show up right now. Yeah, they are probably just down here on the street level. Like, literally right next to us. Yeah, I can hear floaters and mutons so far. So, okay, who has the alien grenades again? Right here. 
I could go like, okay, let's go here to reveal this side. Okay, there's the meld. We got five turns to get the meld. That should be more than enough time. And now we can set up our snipers. Okay, this is perfect. We can set up our snipers. Move into cover here. And then we can send someone on the next turn. So we will almost definitely get that one melt container. Almost definitely not both, but one is good enough. That's my baseline. Still no aliens. Okay, I assume they will be like over here. That's almost certainly the case. So we could go here. Okay, let's go here. See if we reveal anything. Yep, okay. Mutants. Right. Ooh, okay. Now that's pretty tempting. I could blow up all of them. I would have to use grenades. But I could blow up all of them. That would be amazing. That would actually be amazing. We can use this alien grenade here. Okay, let's throw a regular grenade first. I don't even have to move. No, I do have to move. Alright, let's throw a regular grenade first. Because the car will not blow up from one grenade. At least it shouldn't. So one regular grenade. And then the second grenade to finish the job. There you go. So now the second... Oh, it will blow up. I was wrong. Okay, that's a bit of a waste of three good kills. You almost always need a second grenade to make it blow up. So, I got trolled a little bit, but alright. Whatever, they're dead. That's what matters, okay? They're dead. But I really did not expect it to blow up. I guess it's because it's a heavy. Doesn't matter, they're dead now. Technically, that was a super efficient frag grenade. Like, that was extremely efficient. Other than Machi not needing kills. That was giga efficient. Try killing three mutants with one regular frag grenade. Not even an alien grenade. <laughs> that was probably the single most efficient regular grenade that I'll get in this entire campaign. It's going to be hard to top that, okay? Anyway, we got the meld. There are still more mutons, I can hear them. Alright. So, well, let's open this door here. But the other meld is already gone, so there's literally no reason to rush this. We can just take it slowly. So we'll open that door on the next turn. So that he'll have both his actions. Knock, knock. Okay, clear, interesting. All right, all right. Overwatch still. Let's go. Okay, so there's a group in this direction. So if I open this door and they are like over here, that's probably not the best because I will not have line of sight. But we can always set up on Overwatch. Oh, that still didn't trigger anything. Okay. That's a little bit odd, but okay. I guess they are further to the left. Again, I'm not in a rush. I could also blow up this entire wall by throwing a grenade. It's a bit of an unorthodox solution, but it's not a bad one. It is definitely not a bad one. I could even do it with Maciej, because he will still have two regular grenades. He might have to move to the low ground, though. Well, he doesn't, but it might be a good idea to do it anyway. Because if I'm closer, I will have more options to use a rocket. I will have an option to use a rocket to begin with. Like, at all. Not on the same turn I use the grenade on, obviously. Yeah, they are definitely there. 
I assume they will spread out as soon as they see us. Okay, well, let's do this, shall we? So I'm just gonna blow out this entire wall. Like I said, it's a bit of an unorthodox solution, but... If there's no door where we need it to be, we can make our own. Yep, there we go. So now we'll have some decent shots, I think. Yeah. Okay, Lori has line of sight. And Elsa has line of sight. That's 100. I assume that's the same floater here. Alright, let's try to kill it with headshot first. With somebody who actually needs experience. Got it, a nice one. And that's a promotion, very nice. And then what? Well, I assume our pit could probably hit, but maybe not. Ooh, I could actually set up a capture here. Maybe not a terrible idea. Okay, maybe that's not a terrible idea. Shame I can't get line of sight to the others. How about that rocket? Can we use it? Okay, I can still use the rocket. That will kill the floater, but I'm okay with this. It's a free kill for our heavy. Okay, what the heck, let's just use that rocket. It's an extra kill. There you go. And then probably just shoot the last one. Sure, I would like a capture, but I'm not really... Uh, like, super obsessed with that capture or anything like that. Let's just shoot it with RP. Okay, four damage. I don't think I can really finish the job. Well, no, I actually can. I can probably get close to 100% chance to hit with Elsa here. Obviously, the downside is that I'm moving, like, completely out of cover. But if we don't have 100, I can just move elsewhere. I'm pretty sure it's going to be either 100 or very close to it, like 90% plus. Okay, 93%. Do I have a follow-up if this fails? Kind of? Well, okay, not really. Do I want to take this shot? I can grenade his ass. Okay, let's just grenade his ass. Because I would hate to miss this shot, okay? I'm not going to risk a Colonel Sniper. Because that was a 7% chance to risk Elsa getting killed. I'm not going to take a 7% chance to lose my best Colonel Sniper. No shot. Unless it's the last option left. Alright, let's just reload and overwatch on some people. We still got some mutants, right? I think I could hear some. We could take high ground here. Okay, let's go with that. Technically, they could be on this roof, but they're not. Overwatch with the pistol. We might still get an opportunity to capture something, but I'm not holding my breath. I like my high ground. I'm staying on the high ground. I can still hear some floaters, actually. Okay, yep, seekers. That's fine. Can't capture those. Nice one damage. Let's go, people. Yeah, that didn't really do much. Well, unfortunately, I do not have a battle scanner. But I could throw a grenade blindly. I don't think that will necessarily achieve anything, but it might. I could actually do this. That's the big brain play right here. I could actually do this. Okay, what the heck? Let's do that. No. Yeah, they moved after going into stealth. Well, you tried. We made ourselves a bigger entrance, okay? I guess now we just overwatch with everyone. Overwatch, overwatch. Yeah, maybe move. Okay, overwatch. They might both attack me because they are really close. We will kill one, basically granted. That's all of my overwatch gone. You know, that was one of the really good changes in XCOM 2. You don't take all of the Overwatch shots simultaneously, so that you'll waste all of them on one alien. Because it's kind of annoying, wasting all of them on one alien. Okay, the other one didn't attack, so let's just Overwatch again. Might as well do that. Overwatch. Let's go. Come on. I know you're there. 
Okay then. One reload and the rest Overwatch. Oh, maybe it ran away or something. No, it's here. Kill it. Go, go, go. Are you guys going to miss? No, we got it. Okay, now we can reload everything. And keep moving. Reload, reload, reload. Uh, let's actually keep one Overwatch with a sniper here. In case something shows up while we're reloading. Okay, now we can reload the last sniper. And the uh, Overwatch... Whoops! Okay, did I just Overwatch instead of reloading? She did have almost full ammo, to be fair. So probably not necessary. Yeah, I can still hear mutants. It would be nice to capture one still. There are two more groups. And they both seem to be in this direction. So let's move the sniper over to the other building here. Like so. Yep. That way we'll get better line of sight. I'll move slightly to the left, but not too much. Then we can reload. Let's just move everyone here. Almost everyone. Okay, not literally everyone, but a good chunk of our squad. Arpit has to stay down here if he wants to attempt that stun. There you go, Overwatch. And uh, right, that's a rookie. He might need like one kill here to get the promotion. We'll see. Okay, Overwatch. There is a chance we'll trigger both of the groups at the same time. Also, I want to be as far left as possible here. Okay, clear, that's good. Yeah, I want to be as far left as possible to get the best possible line of sight. We can't get any more meld anyway. So it's not like there's any need to rush. Overwatch. Overwatch. Alright. Yeah, let's not move anymore here. Maybe like over here, this is fine. Alright, Overwatch. It would be best if they moved into our view right now. Yeah, I think they are moving in the opposite direction. They are literally moving in the opposite direction. Uh, that seems to be the case. Yeah, okay, they literally moved away from me. What a troll. What an actual troll, bro. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Overwatch. I'm not in a rush. There should be two pods, though. Mutons and uh, floaters. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Let's go. Okay, I didn't hear anything there. It was mutants, but I think also floaters. Yeah, they like moved away from me. <sighs> that is a little bit annoying. But all right, all right. It's fine. We'll get them. If they can't run away from me. Well, technically they can run away. They just did. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they have to be close. Yes, I hear that. Hello? Nope. Okay. Well, obviously they are there. We know that already. I still want to try setting up a capture. If they move through the building, I'm not going to have line of sight with the snipers. That would be annoying. Oh, I just overwatched with the pistols. But if they... Yeah, yeah, they will not have line of sight. The snipers, I mean. We still have rockets. It would be nice to set up a capture of one mutant here. That will only give us a light plasma rifle, but I still wouldn't mind that. Light Plasma gets a name bonus. That's good for low aim people. Damn it. Yeah, but that's three mutants and a lot of health. And they are a little bit far away right now. I cannot launch a rocket that far. Well, I almost can, but there's the wall that blocks line of sight. It might be best to actually like move out entirely and let them come closer. Yeah, let's move like this, over here, and then we'll overwatch with everyone. I might want to move one sniper to low ground. Otherwise, I just risk not having line of sight whatsoever. 
or we'll wait until they come through here. I assume that's what they will do, move through here. I think one of them was close enough to do that right now. So let's switch to our primary weapon and overwatch with both. Okay, let's go. And our pit, yeah, our pit can stay where he is. If I get a chance to capture one, I'll try, but if not, then I won't be risking too much just to set up a capture. Okay, we should get at least one or two shots. Here it comes. Nice one. Okay, it would be best to just leave one of them alive and then try to set up a capture. Come on, snipers. Okay, we didn't get a sniper shot here. That's a bit unfortunate. Here, we got line of sight. Uh, let's take that shot then. That will be a kill. Now, we don't know where the other mutons are. I assume they are close. I think I'll just stay on Overwatch. Okay, let's actually just stay on Overwatch. I have no idea where they are. They could come through here, or they could come through here. So, yeah. Let's find out. Okay, another one coming. That's what I thought, that they will move in through here. It's the easiest route. Okay, nice shot. We might kill that one. If Elsa also gets a shot. Okay, she won't. He's running away. Yeah, we'll kill him. Uh, will we? Yes, we will. Nice. That's another kill for the heavy. So, okay, there's one more mutant left. We don't know where he is exactly. Okay, we actually don't know where he is. Interesting. Well, if he shows up, we'll try to capture it. I assume he will come through here. I can't even see him in this area. But let's stick to full cover. In fact, let's just hunker down with Fabrizio here. He only has four health. He's going to die if a mutant breathes in his general direction, okay? We still have two rockets. If he does show up right now, we might just kill him with the snipers, but that's fine. Okay. Where is he? Oh, maybe he ran away now. That's possible, yeah. That is possible. Okay, no, he's coming. No, he's not. Yes, I hear that. Yeah, I'm just going to chill, alright? I know that's not super exciting. But since we don't have an assault with lightning reflexes in here, he might be on Overwatch, and I can't easily get rid of that Overwatch safely. Like I could with an assault. And I don't want to risk anyone getting killed. I could try to move like here, perhaps. Okay, let's try that. No? Okay. Maybe we can move Elsa over here. Okay, let's try to slowly move over. We will try to slowly move over. Is there an extra pod or not? I can't hear anything just yet. Alright, I'm just going to like leapfrog uh, the snipers here. So like this. Then we can overwatch. Go here. And overwatch. I will still guard this door in case he tries to come through here. I want to keep an eye on it. I think we still need one kill for Fabrizio. Yeah, he ran away, I think. Like the coward that he is. Come on, buddy. Where the heck are you? I know you're there. You can't fool me, alright? You definitely can't fool me. Okay, reload. Guard the door. You're the doorman now. You've been promoted from a rookie to a doorman. So you hold that door. Come on, come on. Okay. I'm really nervous about moving forward here because he might be camping back there with Overwatch. He won't do 8 damage to our pit. But I still don't really want to do it. Okay, let's try to go here. Still nothing. 
Hunker down. What the heck is going on? Well, alright. Keep using Overwatch. This is a bit awkward. He must be really close. Probably just on the other side of the building. Okay. Yeah, he must be on the other side of the building. We might not get line of sight from up here, so I might have to move the snipers. At least one of them. Not yet, though. Not Okay, not yet. I'm still hoping he will show up. Okay, this seems unlikely. Let's move forward a bit. I could move forward. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, he's on Overwatch. Like I said, and 5 damage. Like I said, I don't have a friggin' assault with lightning reflexes. So, there's nothing I can really do to avoid this. Yeah. And of course, I don't have line of sight. I have to run away here. Can anyone uh, do anything here? Yes? Okay, let's blow up that entire wall. I don't think that will give my snipers line of sight. But we'll do some damage and we'll blow up his cover. Maybe I can actually kill him. I could try to capture him, but I don't think I want to risk that. Especially since there's no plasma rifle that we can get out of it. Best case scenario is light plasma. I'm not entirely certain if there's another pod here or not. Wait, do I have to take that shot with Arpit? Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Now, this is a little bit risky. Moving in, but we do have a follow-up. Should be fine. 65%. No. Well, you tried. Arpit should have like 90%. 94%. He just needs to hit. Come on, buddy. Got it. Are we done or is there one more pod? Okay, no, we're done. I thought that there might have been one more pod. But this was 11 aliens. I guess Arpit will be taking a break. But we have, what, three supports on our roster? It should be fine. Only three days, yeah. Because we did buy the rapid recovery upgrade. And two promotions. Oh yeah, assault. It's only going to be a squaddy assault, but better than nothing. I'm still taking damn good ground. 96 well at Sergeant. That's not bad. That is actually really good. What did she have at Corporal? This must have been a really good roll. Okay, this must have been a really, really good roll. Alright, well, here's our assault. His HP is a little bit low for an assault. But alright, alright. I will have to get him promoted to get Lightning Reflexes, though. Because that's the most important promotion for assaults. We got another medal. Here's the loot. Alright, and now we can launch the satellites. So now we launch the satellites. Now, okay, there are two options I have. I can launch a satellite in Germany, United Kingdom, and South Africa. Well, no, I can launch one in China and in South Africa. I have several options right now. So the first option is to finish the European continent bonus. That's option number one. The second option is to save either China or South Africa and then launch one satellite in United Kingdom. And the last option is to save both China and South Africa. And well, that's it. And then we can finish the European bonus next month. I would like to have a little bit of a buffer here. I can't let them both leave, actually. Because if I let them both leave, then we just lose this campaign. We already have interceptors in Asia. So if I launch a satellite in both South Africa and China, I'm going to need some interceptors in Africa. Which is not that big of a deal, because we have the North American bonus. It will be a bigger deal once we get to the point of upgrading the interceptors. But the safest play here is to just launch in both China and South Africa. That way we'll have a, a tiny bit of a buffer. I remember when all we heard so I think I'll do that. What, Bradford? <laughs> okay. Alright, let's launch in China. Satellite 
and I'm just going to save South Africa. I'll feel a little bit safer having that buffer. Because if I let South Africa leave, we will not be able to afford any other country leaving. Because that would mean losing the campaign. And I'm not getting the European bonus anyway. I'm receiving you. <laughs> what? What do you mean you think you saw a snake? What the hell does that have to do with anything? <laughs> yeah, I didn't remember that one. That's pretty funny. All right, well, let's launch in South Africa then. And then we might as well... Okay, hold on, not yet. Uh, we want to wait a day or two. Yeah, because we wanted the interceptor to arrive on the 1st of June. Not that it makes a huge difference at this point, but it does make a bit of a difference. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, ignore that. We just launched the satellite. It's fine. Maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Right, and then in June we'll need the uplink. I'm still waiting to finish the power generator. Then we'll start the uplink as soon as the generator is done. There's the Thinman autopsy. Now I can start improving my snipers. Muscle fiber density. That's the one I was talking about. That allows them to, like, jump. They don't need ladders to climb, basically. So, yeah, this is a lot of research. So, okay, we have a few options here. I could go directly for even more plasma weapons. I could go for heavy plasma to give my heavies better weapons. I could do the light plasma rifle research. That's 17 days, though. But I got two light plasma rifles. So I would get one freebie. Because one is expanded for the actual research project. I could go for carapace armor. That's 10 alloys. I will want this at some point. I will probably want this soon, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'll want this soon. It might be a good idea to get this. I think I might get that. It's a tough choice. It's actually kind of a tough choice. It is. 15 days for Plasma Sniper. We do have pretty good firepower. Even currently with the beam weapons. Yeah, Guided Fusion Launcher. We will obviously want this. But it will have to wait. It will have to wait. Yeah, man, this is kind of tough. I don't remember what research boost that Thin Man gave you. If any. I actually don't remember that. I think I need to look it up. We also still need the mutant autopsy to get ammo conservation. I think I should get that. It's only three days. I delayed it because I couldn't afford ammo conservation yet. But let's finish the mutant autopsy. Okay, so we want... We probably just want to order the interceptor now. Okay, let's do that. So, in Africa. I should probably get two of them. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. Getting just one is a tiny bit greedy. It's a bit greedy. Well, anyway, here's New Month. Oh, actually, that's just the... Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, the mech. Right, 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 the mech. Okay. Build a new mech. Oh, yeah, we need to actually build the mech now. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. So, mech trooper. Yeah, we need her, like, to... We need an actual mech for her to use. Okay, well, that's fine. Anyway, this is what I wanted, body shield. You get body shield if you convert a heavy. And this is really good, because the nearest visible enemy will get minus 20 aim penalty, and he cannot critically hit this unit. And the nearest visible doesn't mean he has to be near you. It's just literally any enemy that's closer than other enemies. He could be literally halfway across the map. And if that's the nearest enemy, that will work. So that's why I wanted a heavy for this. Uh, anyway, I guess we need to build an actual mech. So let's do that. Yeah, build upgrade mech. That's 40 meld. Alright, 40 meld it is then. So... Yeah, I think I want a kinetic strike module. Yep, definitely. I love punching things. This is amazing. 
This was really fun to use back in the day. Okay, so I guess that's it right now. Missing research, that's fine. So now we can send her, right? It's been a while. It's actually been a while. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I have to do anything else. Anyway, it's a new mod. No, it's not. Not yet. Uh, we're still waiting for the power generator. That's about to finish. Uh, let's check the gene lab real quick. So I wanted to send uh, my snipers. I definitely wanted to send Elsa. Let's not send them both in case we get a mission on like the 1st of June. What we want is muscle fiber density. Man, this is expensive. Look at the melt cost. This is actually really expensive. But she's my best sniper, so it makes sense to get that on her. And we probably want the depth perception. Plus 10 aim after a miss. Well, I don't plan to miss, okay? She's built around the not missing. So we'll get this. There. Yeah, that's a lot of meld. That is a lot of meld. But we're definitely doing this. Yep, six days. She might miss out on a mission in early June. So that's 70 meld left. Need to be careful what I spend meld for. That is really not a lot of meld. We did launch our satellites, right? Let me just triple check. Yes, we did. Okay. So we want to start building more satellites before like the 10th of June. There's the power generator. Now we can start building our last satellite uplink right here. There you go. Okay, good. Yeah, excavating down here will be expensive. I still want to do that. Let's just sell something cheap. Grey market. Okay, let's sell like a few corpses here. And we can excavate. On both sides would be nice. I also still want the lab. And I need yet another generator for the lab. So the generator can be here. Let's actually finish this excavation and start building one more generator. We're about to get more money for entering a new month. Not much point selling a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, there's ammo conservation project. We'll want to start that ASAP. And for our next research, I think I might actually get carapace armor. Yeah, I'll feel safer with carapace armor. We should really get that by now. We should really, really get that by now. Let's get carapace armor. I'll feel a little bit safer. There, new month. Yes, he's impressed. We got 910 credits for engineers and for scientists. So how many do we have now? 34 engineers and 22 scientists. Right. So that's 663 credits. Now I could start excavating. This is so expensive. It's so down expensive. But I guess I'll have to do it at some point. Okay, fine. I hate spending that much for excavations, but it is what it is. It is what it is, alright? Here. Okay, so no mission yet. That's good. That's good. Now I could send Heinrich. Oh, wait, no. Three more days. Right, right. Because it's three days per gene mod. Let's not send Heinrich yet. Okay. Complete. Excavation is done. So can we afford... Right, power generator first. I should have started that a little bit earlier. There you go. Yeah, I should have started that a bit earlier. It's already the 6th of June. I have to wait for the power generator now. Which is fine, we will. We could excavate the steam. I could build a thermal generator here and then remove some of the power generators. So that is an option. Okay, there it is. There's the gene mod. Now I could send Heinrich. I could do that. I assume I'll get a mission by the time he gets his gene mods done. Because that's probably going to happen. But I don't want to send him. I definitely want to send him. We could grab Adrenal Neurosympathy. 
but I think I'll pass on that. Don't get me wrong, this is nice. But it's another 10 meld. I'm going to spend 30 meld already for depth perception and muscle fiber density. Yeah, okay. That's 40 meld left. Let's just do this then. I definitely want that on him. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer That's 40 meld left. See how quickly you can use up the meld in XCOM 1? It can go super fast. Okay, 80 to excavate. Let's just excavate that. At least we won't have to worry about the power. Uh, okay. Well, I do not have six Exalt LMGs. Oh, uh, hold on! Uh, I forgot to scan. Yeah, we need to uh, do the scan. Hold on. Here. I almost forgot. It's still not too late, though. It's fine. Positive ID on Exalt cell locations. Okay. Well then, that's fine. Let's go. Yep, let's go. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. It's okay, it's still not too late. Who do we send? Well, let's take a look. Somebody, like, lower rank. I mean, I could send somebody more experienced, but I'd rather not. We can send Hyo. Alright, let's send Hyo, that's fine. Team is getting antsy. They might be more excited about the new weapons than our troops are. Uh, right. Let's make one more laser pistol here. They are cheap. There you go. Let's make two more. That's also 12 alloys, but that's fine. Now we can send him. Alright. Let's go. Soldier list. Where was he? I could also send a rookie. Which is actually not a terrible idea. But I wanted some of our squaddies to get promoted, so we'll send Hill, it's fine. So load out laser pistol. More grenades. Alright, that's good enough. Let's go. Wait, can I do both at the same time? No, only one at a time. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, well, let's keep scanning then. Okay, small scout. Let's shoot it down. Here's another opportunity to maybe capture an outsider. I still need to capture an outsider, like seriously. Get over here. Alright, shoot it down, boys. You can actually fail to shoot down a small UFO, by the way, with one interceptor. It's pretty low probability, but it can happen. Alright, we shot it down. It's a little bit trickier capturing outsiders in a small UFO, because you usually trigger it from further away. But I might try. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.